Right, hi, next one for moments. So it says a uniform beam AB of mass 40 kilos and length 5 meters. Oh, hello. Get the that. No idea why he keeps doing that. So for that information, at 2.5 meters in, 40 G acts down. So it rests horizontally on supports at C and D, where A to C is 1 meter and D to B is 1 meter. So A and B are the ends of it, C and D are the supports, and they're each one meter in. Right, so if I draw this, it's got a length of one meter, there's A, there's C, that's one meter in. There's, uh, what is it, A, B, there's B, and D is one meter in as well. I've got the 40 kilos, the 40 G acting down, and I've got a normal reaction at C and a normal reaction at D. But tell me anything strange about it. It says, uh, where's it gone? So I've got that. A man of mass 80 kilos stands on the beam at E and the magnitude of the reaction at D is twice the magnitude of the reaction at C. So this RD is actually two lots of R, RC, C there. Right, so let's have a think. Now I'm pressing down more on D. So in the, the man must be closer to D than C, or else I'll be pressing down more on C. So I've got 80G acting there. But I don't know how far away it is from the thing. And it says here, by modelling the beam as a rod and the man as a particle, find the distance from A to E. So this is E where the person is stood now. Right, so... I want this distance, so I'm going to initially call it x there. Right, so how are we going to do this then? Let's try and set up our equations. So clockwise is equal to anti-clockwise. And I'm going to take the moments about a, about the end, moments about a. So clockwise is going to be the 40g and the 80g. Now, I know that the 40G is half waist, that's two and a half meters. So I've got 40G times two and a half meters plus 80G times by X. So that's my kind of, that's my go clockwise. Anti-clockwise, about A, so I'm putting it A, is RC, so that's RC, and that's times by one meter plus RD, which is two lots of RC, times by, now the distance from A to D is four metres. So let's have a bit of a look at this one then. So that's 100G, that's 80GX, and that's 9RC. Right then. So I've got that. I can't really do anything there. So I've got two oh, that's supposed to be equals. Sorry. I've got two unknowns here, so that's not helpful. So let's look at my equilibrium then. So let's look at up is equal to down. So up is RC and 2RC. And down is the 40G and the 80G. So 3 lots of RC is 120G, so RC is 40G. So I've got RC as 40G, which means now I can say that 100G plus 80G times X is equal to 9 times 40G. Uh, so let me pause it a second, so I've got like 10 seconds left. I'm going to cancel out the Gs. Hang on. So very quickly, I've cancelled out the G's, moving from there to there. So X will be 3.25 metres. So that's my distance from A to E. Bye.